What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it again with some brand new WWE action figure fix-ups that you can do with some brand new reveal figures that we got yesterday. If you guys missed the full day of reveals yesterday, definitely go check it out because it was the best day of reveals that I can remember in, in a while, I'd say. Like, it was just a great day. Like, every figure was just slapping, you know what I'm saying? Like, every single figure that was shown off, man, I was just super excited for it. So, I can't wait. This year is going to be the year of the action figure. I think AEW is going to be putting out heat. I think WWE is going to be putting out heat. Tell Jazz wears the war has begun and they are just both putting out great product right now so I'm enjoying it man this should be excellent we have some brand new fix-ups we're going to talk about with our 2022 figures we're getting this year so let's go ahead and dive in man let's start off with the ultimate edition Hulk Hogan you guys know that we got this shown off with Mr. T yesterday and I'm just thinking like how good these head sculpts are these are great head sculpts and I think that one thing you want to do immediately is putting these new ultimate edition Hulk Hogan head sculpts onto the Survivor Series Elite you guys remember the Survivor Series Elite had a really weird head. I think putting this one on there, I don't know if the headbands are removable on these Hulk Hogan head sculpts. I don't think they are. They may be though. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But I think regardless, you could still put this head on the Survivor Series figure and maybe you could even customize the headband if you wanted to. It just depends, I guess, on how many of these Hulk Hogan's you're able to obtain. I know if you're if you want to do Fix Up City and Head Swap City, then you're going to have to get a lot of these Ultimate Edition head sculpts. But the Ultimate Edition heads on the Survivor Series Elite is my first fix up. Diving into our next one, man. I'm talking about this AJ Styles basic right here. No, I'm just playing. I, I just want to throw this in here as a real joke. But seriously, though, I get the only one if you really wanted to do an actual fix up with this. Put the left knee pad on one of the AJ Styles elites and that could be like the only fix up because everybody knows we're not doing a damn head swap with this figure because of how damn old it is. And we, we've seen this head sculpt for, for a very, very long time. I'm hoping we get a new AJ Elite or Ultimate very soon. Next up, guys, we have Legends X-Pac. Now, there's a lot of stuff you could do with this. You could take this leather jacket and put it on Adam Cole. You could put it on Finn Balor. You could put it on a, a hundred different guys. There's so many guys you put the leather jacket on, so that's really cool. But uh, I'm talking about his head sculpt. Not the biggest fan of this head sculpt. I think if you put the fan takeover head on there, it would look a lot better. And that's what I'm going to recommend. I think, you know, putting this head sculpt on there would be great. I mean, even if you wanted to take a step further and put the Elite 33 X-Pac, I think it was, with the headband and the tongue out. If you wanted to put that head sculpt on here, I still think you could get away with it, but I think the fan takeover head is the best version of X-Pac that we've ever seen, so I think that would be my go-to. However, it is really cool here to see uh, a Legends X-Pac there, and I, I'm definitely going to get two of this guy. I may get three of them to do the, you know, the green gear that I want to see, but I think that head swap would be pretty nice. Next up is the Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels. Now, again, lots of fix-ups you could do with this, but one that I think would look really, really good is putting the WrestleMania Elite from way back when, from, from years ago. Putting that head sculpt, it still probably remains the best Sean head sculpt. At least it's up there. It's definitely up there. I think there's some other Sean heads that could probably compete with it, but I think putting the WrestleMania Elite Shawn Michaels head sculpt on there with the braid onto this Ultimate Edition Shawn, I think it would do wonders for this figure. I think it would really bring it to life. You have the reds matching and everything like that. I think it would be clean. Even if it's not the most accurate to the time, like pinpoint accuracy, I still think that it would be a really beautiful looking figure with that head on there. And I think some of these heads on this Ultimate Shawn are a bit weird, and so so I, I think that head swapping this would look really good if you just wanted that base look. But I do like the yelling expression. Next up, guys, we have ringside exclusive Hulk Hogan Elite. Now, the only thing that I can really think about here is getting some of those knee... I don't know if you want to take some of, like, the just regular black knee pads and then pound it, pounding and then painting the edges of the knee pads white, but you could get... I, I don't I, I don't know the name of the specific series or figure, but I could have swore that, that somebody out there... I know Storm Collectibles did it, but I wasn't thinking of Storm Collectibles. I was thinking Jax or somebody made these knee pads with the white outlines on the knee pads. Now, I don't know what series it is or anything like that, but I want to say that that came to fruition, so I, I'll have to look it up, but I couldn't find the series exactly that I wanted to talk about, but just getting those black knee pads with the white outlines would really bring that to life, and it would make it look a lot more accurate, and then another thing I thought about was you could do the white glove fix up, because he did wear this gear with white gloves before, and I think if you just took some like solid hand tape hands that we've gotten from Mattel before with similar skin tone, maybe like Dolph Ziggler hands or something like that, and then you could paint the skin tone on the back of the hand to give him the white glove look at least, I think that 
that could also make for a really cool fix up so that may be something you want to look into there and it may be something that we explore on surgery or something next up is the legends cane fix up man and for me i'm thinking putting a maskless head sculpt on this guy like from the decade of domination wave i think that would be really cool you know bald head sculpt cane on this figure would look fantastic and uh possibly even taking this head sculpt and put it on some other cane elites i mean you could even take this head and put it on the dod elite they're kind of the same figure but you do have a little bit of differences here and there but i think you know with the specific red knee pads and double jointed arms and stuff putting the bald head on there with the double jointed arms would really really complete the look so that's more of the fix up i was going for but i still think you can get away with possibly another set of fix ups or something but i'm really looking forward to this legends cane probably going to be one of the top contenders for figure of the year at least it, it may crack the top 10 this year we'll have to find out at the end of the year next up guys we have the lesnar ruthless aggression figure i think just head swapping this you know i think the the ultimate edition head sculpt would be really really fire on this guy you could also do some other ones maybe the the screaming expression or the the shocked expression of that weird expression that they gave the ultimate edition that may be one that you want to explore there but just head swapping the lesnar would be cool they put great knee pads on it they put the good boots on there they have the double jointed arms there's not a lot of stuff that you want to do with this figure but it's still really really neat to see this and I, I think that uh, this figure right here may even be in the top. Like, we saw a lot of figures yesterday that are probably going to be in the top 10 of the year. We're just getting started. Like, we haven't even gotten to Comic-Con. We haven't even got, like, this year is going to be incredible with figures. So, I don't think, like, I didn't see any figures today that I'm really, really excited about that I'm going to look back on at the end of the year and go, was it really that good? I feel really confident about all of these figures so far. Next up is the Ruthless Aggression Batista. And really, all I'm thinking is head swapping it with the Ultimate. You know, get the screaming expression. Much like Brock Lesnar, I think this falls in the same category. You know, switching it with those ultimate head sculpts, giving yourselves different looks. Now, one thing that I thought about, now this isn't necessarily fix-ups. This is kind of customs, but he still wore these trunks a lot, okay? He wore these trunks a whole lot, and if you want to get some of those different looks and you're able to pick up a few of these, you could take this figure and you could repaint just the trunks. Like, use the, use the outline that they have here, you know, like the red graphic, the gold trunks. Use that as a guideline and just paint over the different decals or the different trunks and you could make different Batista fix-ups just by customizing the trunks and painting the trunks. So that may be something that we explore trying to get some of those Batista looks that we've been wanting and we'll have to see about that and play that by ear and you know how the crotch piece looks after painted and stuff but I think that also you could switch it with the Hall of Champions boots maybe even the Ultimate Edition boots depending on you know what you want to do there and how available that figure is and stuff like that. Moving right along guys we're completing the Ruthless Aggression Elite set with HBK and this is just head swapping it with his Wrestlemania Elite that we just got. I know that we said that we didn't want to see that, that head sculpt on this figure, but if you really like that head sculpt and you just want to see a different look for your HBK, this is an excellent opportunity to do so. You can put that head sculpt over there and nobody would bat an eye. I think that both of them are accurate. They both look really good. I am excited to see a different head sculpt here, but I'm waiting on a brand new HBK head that's, you know, the Ruthless Aggression era, and so hopefully we'll get that. I'd like to see the, you know, the mom haircut sort of deal going on, or that awful haircut that he had in the early 2000s would also be a cool figure to get down the line, but uh, that head swap there would be really nice, and I could see people doing that. And really, the only last fix-up that we have here is going to be the Elite 94 Bret Hart. Another head swap here. See, the thing is, is when I was trying to diverge into, you know, some of these fix-ups and things that I wanted to see, it's really difficult because Mattel's been nailing it, man. It's as far as like they've given a lot of guys the right knee pads they've given guys a lot of different things that we like to see so you know the double jointed arms and the different fix-ups and stuff like that are really hard to come by like you got to get creative to get some of these fix-ups done now unless like something you know until i get the figure in hand i really can't divulge too much into new fix-ups and things like that with like you know the frankenstein efforts and stuff like that especially with the with the different parts and the you know the double jointed arms and things of that nature but I still think these are some really quality fix-ups here. You know, once we get them in hand, there'll be more that probably come into my head. And, you know, ideas will, of course, form in my brain to bring to life here in surgery, appointment, all those different things. But we'll have to see about that, man. But it was an excellent day of reveals yesterday. Again, if you guys missed the full day of reveals, if you want all my thoughts and coverage on all of that stuff, it was uploaded yesterday. So definitely go check that out. But holy smokes, we got some epic figures coming in. And I'm really, really excited to see those come to fruition, man. But that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy i got some pretty excited stuff coming this week in hopes of elimination chamber coming up next weekend so stay on the lookout for that but thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy let me know your thoughts on everything down in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you and don't cross the line like me when uh, or just my wallet i guess my wallet's gonna be crossing the line this year with all these damn figures jesus christ you